67, 67, 67, Think Film Believe 60, Think Film Believe 67, 67, 67, 67, 67, Think Film Believe 67, 67, 67, share and share and like, share these videos, get them out, you know, but I mean, you know, share these videos and, you know, I mean, I mean that's good. We want everybody to listen to succession on these, so as always, I tell you, I tell you a thousand times, I tell you, I tell you a hundred times, I tell you a thousand times, I tell you all the time. Watch these videos in succession, like a book, start in the beginning, you know, okay, okay, I'm gonna give it because it's important, it's important because I'm doing this to help people, and in order to help you, you need to get and kind of go along the way, so you kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of get the understanding, kind of, kind of, kind of, Gonna, gonna, okay, 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 <clears throat> okay, so, you know, ha, her, here, so, 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 here we are, here we are, here we are, and, you know, this is huge, this is huge, and one thing that I were all... A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot guilty of, and that's not showing gratitude or thankfulness. You know, let's wait till Thanksgiving to have a prayer and say we're thankful for every. No, 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 no. Isn't it funny? You know, like we got these holidays, and like you know, it's like we Valentine's Day. You know, once a year. You know. Um. I mean, I personally would not do Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day because of they raise the prices on everything. I mean, it's ridiculous. Everybody's got to do it on the day, you know. But if you're doing stuff outside of that day, then it makes Valentine's Day not that big of a deal, you know. But it, oh, it's a holiday, so you got to go out to this whole big bash on Valentine's Day. I was like going like you know like the week before, the week later, and just kind of make Valentine's Day kind of a passing thing, you know. So, but. The point I'm trying to make with that's not about Valentine's Day or, or on a single day is making gratitude a part of your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gratitude a part of your life. I and and embrace the change for that one, friend. Embrace the change. Embrace the change for being gratitude because you know I'm guilty of it. Yep, yep, yep. But I have learned. And this isn't one that's going to come. This isn't one that's going to come overnight either. You, everything you're, you know, there's no automatic changing yourself. You know, I mean, I mean, here's just something. You know, like I told, I told a friend, you, you know, you gotta stop smoking. You know, oh, yeah, I know, you gotta stop smoking. Oh, I know, you know, and then. Uh, two, three years. I went, you know, you gotta stop. Yeah, I know, you gotta stop. And then one day he got cancer and, um, stopped smoking cold turkey. I mean, so we don't want to have to force ourselves into a situation because of extenuating circumstances. We are better off stopping and making the change now. Listen, listen, listen. Make these changes in your life now. And, you know, and, I mean, there's tools. You know, the greatest tools I think I've ever had is like three by five cards, writing it down so that you see it and it's in front of your face. No matter where it is, it's in front of your face. You see it. It brings it to your consciousness. You know, and there's been times where I, I put stuff up on a three by five cards, the fluorescent ones, the bright ones, and then I could put it there. And then uh, yeah, after a period of time, it's like, you know, they're there so much that I ignore them. But I have found this. And that that you know, like you could put you could put a a, a, um, a a three by five card, I don't know, somewhere where you're gonna make sure that you see it all the time, and then you'll 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 see you start seeing it all the time, and in kind of in a certain way, you think you're ignoring it, but you're not because you're still seeing it, right? You're still like if you get a three by five and get a green one, green for gratitude, and um, and that's not a rule, <laughs> just. I GG green for gratitude green for gratitude <laughs> and um uh and you place that card there and you see it every day you see it every day you see it every day and then you get to the point where it's kind of like you know you're kind of ignoring it <clears throat> it's still registering because you're seeing it, it's still registering maybe you're kind of looking past it a little bit it's still registering and you know it's kind of interesting I've done that with stuff and put the little three by five cards up of 
you know, whatever thought or whatever it was. And then after a period of time, you know, it's I got it's it's like I got to a point where and I just use gratitude as an example. Um, but um, it got to the point where I'd look at that card and it's like, you know what? I've grown past that. And I would put other stuff up there too. And it's like, you put other stuff up there that I want to change. You want to make, you want to make changes in your life. You got to do something to make your changes in your life. Stop what you've always been doing and do something different to try to accentuate and facilitate, accentuate and facilitate that change in your life, right? By doing in three by five cards, you know, if it, by bringing gratitude in your life, that is the one that's huge, huge, huge gratitude, being gratitude. That is one of the most important synergistic things that you can do in your life to start creating change is to stop, stop and take a look at where you're at in your life and be grateful for the things that are in your life. I mean, really, you know, because we're, everything in life is how you wish to think, feel, and believe about it, right? Yep. So, how you think, feel, and believe about your job. How you think, feel, and believe about school. How you think, feel, and believe about uh, whatever it is that you're involved in your life. How your your thoughts, feelings, and your thoughts, right? Generating the feelings, right? And then you have a belief, right? Like school sucks, you know? And then, okay, well, then school's gonna suck for you because that's how you think, feel, and believe about it. Or your job sucks, you know? So your job's gonna suck for you because that's how you choose to think about it. So, but what about what about, what about, what about, what about if you top, if you stopped and took a moment and just were thankful for your job? Period. I mean, why shouldn't you be? You know, well, because I don't want to work. Well, come on. Life ain't going to be no escape and you ain't going to win the lottery anytime soon. Maybe well, maybe one, I don't know. But, you know, trying to focus on those things that that's going to be your, trying to put that, your focus on that, that's going to be your escape. I mean, let's think about other things out here to try to, to try to take ourselves away from our realities. No, you're not. You have to live in your realities. Okay. And if you understand that no matter what, you got to live in your realities. I remember one time I, I, um, I was helping this young man with, you know, he hated math and didn't want to do and hated math and didn't want to do it. It wasn't my son. It was somebody else. And I was like, you don't have a choice. You know, you either, you're either going to think differently about this because you don't have a choice, you know? So you, you're going to, you're just going to have to face what you got, face what you got, no matter what it is, face what you got, face what you got. And the biggest thing I think that has ever helped me the most with things that I wanted to change to draw myself out of the negative was to start being thankful and grateful for what I have, the blessings that I have, being thankful and grateful. Being thankful and grateful for what you have because you got to bring peace within yourself to an extent. You got to be pre, you can't like school sucks, school sucks, you know, and if you go around with this attitude all the time, this is just going to be an attitude that drags you down, you know, so you got to, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to make that change. You got to make that synergistic change. You got to bring peace within yourself, my friend. Peace in yourself, my friend. You got to bring that peace in your side so that you're no longer contending with that negative emotion that's dragging you down, dragging you down. You know, I mean, even with your job, whatever it is, I don't care what you're, what you're speaking about. It is what you're getting, you know? Um, <clears throat> so, in order to in order to become at peace with any of that is being thankful for it and and you know all that sounds ridiculous i don't want to be thankful for that because i don't want to do it well a lot of these things pretty much for the most part you ain't got no choice so if the sooner you start to be grateful for uh a lot of these things in your life for whatever it is for grateful for everything in your life really because if you can bring that level of gratitude for everything in your life whether you like it or not be grateful for it, okay? Whether you like it or not, be grateful for it, okay? Because that you have to bring a certain level of peace within yourself, and being grateful for everything is going to bring that peace, which is going to give you a foundation which you can build from and go from here to here to here to here. Huh? Huh? Being grateful on a consistent level. I mean, we're it's easy to be consistent with negativity, right? So why don't you be consistent with being grateful and you'll be and be and then you just be persistent and consistent, persistent and consistent with being grateful and 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 and, and, and you'll notice change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you will. <laughs>